So when we talk about complex numbers in general, um, there are a couple of variations of how we generally write them down. Um, some people will write them down as a plus bi, okay? And so that would, for an example of that, that would be 3 plus 2i, for example. That is a complex number. Um, as for like a, a general way of writing them down, they're often referred to as z. And the reason why I put a line through the z is to make sure it's very clearly not a 2, okay? So you'll see me do this throughout. Um, and I would probably suggest that you try and adopt that as well. So z is equal to, it's often written as x plus i y. Um, so you'll notice that sometimes how it's written is that the i is actually the other way around. Now, in no way would I ever write 3 plus i2, okay? I wouldn't write that. Uh -uh, no. Okay, so this seems like a little odd, um, a little bit of an odd way to write these things down, but that's how you'll often see it written um, in textbooks. So this x plus i y. So it's not my preferred way. I'd probably prefer writing it as a plus b i, but um, that's what we've got to get used to. So what are these x and y? So the x we refer to as the real part of the complex number z, okay? So that is the x. The imaginary part is the coefficient of i, so the value of y here. So here, in the number 3 plus 2i, 3 is the real part, 2 is the imaginary part, OK? So you could write something like the real part of z is equal to x, and the imaginary part of z is equal to y, OK? So that is uh, abbreviated notation uh, to mean the real and imaginary parts, OK? So this is what a complex number is built up on. And I was asked, uh, I was asked the other day, um, when you're looking at um, all the uh, natural numbers, integers, etc., and I, and I build that picture up, OK? So the natural numbers are contained within the integers, and then uh, we've got the rational numbers. So naturals, we've got the integers, then we've got uh, the rationals, then we've got uh, these real numbers, and then we have the complex numbers. And I was being asked, um, you know, what, how can these things be contained within the complex numbers? Well, the idea is that if you can think of any number that you've previously thought of before you were met before you met complex numbers. So let's say um, uh, 5 sevenths, for example. The number 5 sevenths, that's good as any. Okay. So the number 5 sevenths, you can write as 5 sevenths, five sevenths plus 0i. So 5 sevenths is actually a complex number. It's just got 0 as its imaginary part. So 0 is the coefficient of i. So that can be contained in here, OK, in the rationals. Another one might be pi plus 0i. So that you could also contain within the real numbers. But the moment that you've got pi plus 2i, then you're in the complex numbers, OK? So that kind of hopefully makes it a little bit clearer as to how uh, this is all connected.